Hold Alt key. Oh, yes. It's again highlighted telling you exactly what to do. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to press in the 2 and yes. the 8. Oh, good. Okay. So and I now I hit OK. And, and it would ready. start cutting. Oh, Kevin, that is awesome. I love learning all these great shortcuts. Yeah, little hot tips, huh? Oh, they're great. Cool. Kevin, I'm working on my birthday party still, okay. and I want to cut out a cupcake and a little phrase that says happy birthday. What's the easiest way to do that? Well, especially if you're using the same material, we can place that all into a queue. A queue. What's a queue? Yeah, a, a queue is like a, uh, a holding place. It's a working surface area that you can select many different shapes, place that in there before you hit cut. Okay, so it's kind of like waiting in line at the grocery store. Exactly. Okay. And actually, that's what we do. We put it in a line. Okay, let me see how you do it. Okay, well, uh, let's go ahead and select the shape first. I think you said something that's about a my, cupcake. That's the one so I want. It's there. Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to hit the plus symbol, uh -huh. and that adds to the queue. And if you take a look <gasps> at that, that is actually a queue menu. Okay. Yes. And so right now, it added everything in there. It added that shape, it added the size, and it added the quantity. Great. So that's exactly what we wanted. Now we can actually go to the folder of phrases because you mentioned something about happy the birthday. Happy birthday. Yes, phrase. I want that happy so birthday. So we're going to go to a phrase. Mm -hmm. Phrases. We press OK. The happy birthday phrase. Oh, I see it down there. Over. Perfect. And again, we can. I, can I do it? Can yes, I do it? Okay. Do. I'm going to hit it. Oh, and there it is. Perfect. Great. Now I have another trick question for you. What if I wanted to add something else to the queue or to get in line, but it's on a different cartridge? Can I do uh, that? Yes. You have a version one or two? One at home, but I'm going to upgrade as soon as I get home. <laughs> okay. If you have a version one, you can't do that. Okay. But version two, we can. We, we actually added hot swapping so mm -hmm. we can remove the cartridge while your queue is still there. Everything stays there. Then we load in the new cartridge, select those shapes, add that to the queue. Okay, so let me get this straight. The controller will remember those two shapes even if that cartridge isn't in there. Absolutely. Oh, nice. Oh, I am ready to go. Okay. Thank you so much. I love that. That's cool. <laughs> Kevin, I just got off the phone and another guest RSVP'd for our party, so I need another cupcake. Can I change the queue to give me another cupcake? No problems. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. okay. What we do is we, we need to move from the selection menu to the queue menu. Okay. And again, all we do is we use our directional pad. Mm -hmm. We go up, and now we're into the queue. Okay. And again, we can select which shape you wanted to change. So mm -hmm. what did you say? Cupcake. cupcake. I need Let's another go cupcake. To cupcake. And we notice that there's eight in the quantity. And, and you I said need nine, nine now. Okay. So. Let's hit the OK. Mm -hmm. Now we're in the edit mode. Oh, I've seen that screen before. That's when I wanted to change the size before. Yep. So we do it the same way we do our selection oh, of shapes. We can also just do them in into the queue okay. shape. So again, we're changing our queue. And we don't want to change the size. We're going to move over. Mm -hmm. We don't want to change the width. We're going to move over quantity. Yes. And we just press the up arrow to add one. OK, so now I have nine cupcakes. But that also means I can change the height or the width if I wanted to. I don't want Absolutely. to, but if I wanted to. Yep, you would just move over and change, and change it. Oh. So before we're done, we uh -huh. got to hit the OK button. Great. We press that, and now it's set. Well, Kevin, how many shapes can I put into the queue? Yeah, Steph, it's, it's relative to the size of the memory of the shape itself. Mm -hmm. um, but I would safely say anywhere from 25 to 35 oh. shapes. Oh, that's plenty. My, my mind can't think of that many shapes to remember, so that's good. That's a yeah. good number. Now, Absolutely. I also have another question for you. What if I decided that I don't want to use a shape that's in the queue? For example, I've decided the happy birthday I want to do a different time. Can I uh, delete that? Yeah, because you're possibly using a different color. So yeah, you don't want it to yeah be on I that just material. decided I don't need it. Very easy to do. What we could do is we just highlight that. So mm -hmm. we're going to highlight the shape that you do not want. Okay. And we're going to raise the LCD to expose yeah. the keyboard. And now that little backspace mm -hmm. key I'm going to press and oh. it removes from the screen. And it's gone. You know what? I have to tell you, I am falling in love with the queue. All right. Get in line. <laughs> Kevin, we've been spending a lot of time on shapes, but what about the fonts? I know we have a lot of great fonts. Yes, we do. Um, actually, inside the starter cartridge, we do have one font, mm -hmm. but we do have, like you said, many different fonts inside cartridges. But uh, let's go ahead and look at this one. It's called Rock and Janie that's in the starter. Rock and Janie. I oh, like that. Rock down rock. to it. We're cursoring down. Uh -huh. Let's go ahead and hit the OK. 
You'll mm -hmm. see inside the selection menu, it gives you a little instruction. I like that. It tells you, uh, go ahead and select the characters. Um, I pick S for Stephanie. Stephanie. Mm -hmm. I assume that's uppercase? Yes, uppercase. Okay, so we're going to use the uppercase. Yes. So we're going to highlight. And so you can see that the arrow is illuminated. Mm -hmm. That means we're in the uppercase mode. So we're going to press the letter S. There it is. There it is. I like that. Now, before we hit the cut button, we want to make sure that we have the right size and quantity. Okay. Uh, height, three and a half. That looks good. And okay. one. So let's cut. Okay. We just press the cut button. Right. Oh, that handy dandy special. I yep. like that. It does help. Especially on that curvy letter. Look at that. Just comes right out. Oh, beautiful. That looks great. Okay. Now, I noticed on your menu over here, actually, Let's see, I see right here on your options menu all these other different features. Yes, we do have features and they are specific for the font that you have. Okay. So for example, uh, this comes with a solid. So let me show you down here, we actually have um, an illustration mm -hmm. showing, uh, that's the standard. Okay. And that's showing an uppercase and then these are lower cases. And then we have solid. You'll notice that inside the O, that piece is missing in case you want a different background. We have shadow with the standard mm -hmm. and then we have the fonts inside the tag and Stephanie you'll notice that on the tags and charms the artists actually made the inside pieces stencilized so that those pieces stay there I love that the more I know about these fonts the more I fall in love with them and you know what you will too Kevin, we've cut out a letter now, but what if we want to cut out words? Okay, that's very easy to do. Okay. What we'll do is we'll add the whole word at one time to the selection menu. Okay. All right. So I'm going to select the word eclipse. Oh, good word choice. Sounds good. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to say E C. It's hard to do this upside down. I bet it so is. Let's see here. Oh, hey, I noticed you forgot the I there. And I did that on purpose. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. sure. Well, I need to show you how come, uh, the reason why I did that is because we can actually edit something instead of just deleting, because we can do that also. Mm -hmm. Remember, we hit the delete key. Right. I can actually just cursor over Ooh. to where I want to insert my letter. Okay. So now I would select the I, and now it should spell it correctly. There you go. Now, if I were to hit cut right now, um, I want you to know this, because some people might want to cut different colors, so they want one letter on each color, but sure. right now, if I were to hit the cut, we would only cut the letter I'm highlighting. Oh, So right. I c again, remember, we can cursor over. So if I wanted to just cut the E, I would mm -hmm. press that. I would move over, cut the C. But because I want to cut it all out at once, I want it to be like a sentence kind of a structure. Mm -hmm. I want to add that to the queue, and you can <gasps> see all of them. And it adds all the letters. All of it at once. Okay, great. Well, let's cut that out. Okay. You just press cut. So here's the word eclipse that we've cut out, and you've noticed that we've taken it and just moved it over here so you could see it. And I've noticed, and I like this idea, we could use this as a stencil if we wanted, maybe on a t-shirt. We could make our own t-shirts. Absolutely. Eclipse t-shirts. Mm -hmm. I like that idea. Mm -hmm. Now, you had mentioned to me before, Kevin, about the baseline. And I think you're the best person to explain the baseline because yeah. I know you understand it the best. Well, it, it's, it's, it's proper as far as sentence structure. What we do is we make sure we maintain a baseline so that the descenders and ascenders are all proportional. So when you do pick the size of your alphabet, mm -hmm. it usually includes the A sender and a, and a baseline. Okay, so when I put something into the queue, it's going to put it on a perfectly straight line. It's not going to do my E up here and my P down here and my L over there. Right. It does it in a perfect sentence structure. Yep, just so you can use it as oh, a sentence. so smart. You thought of everything. Oh, well, we try. Good job. Kevin, we've cut out letters and we've cut out words, but I want to go a step further and cut out some tags and charms. Show us how to do that. Sounds good. What we need to do is first pick the characters that we want to place inside the tag or charm. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to pick happy just because I'm feeling really happy. I'm feeling happy too. All right. Here we go. H A P P Y. Okay. Okay. I selected all of them. That was easy. Now I want to place the tag and charm, and you see that in the options menu. So what do we have to do when we go from here to here? Toggle. That's right. So we toggle over. I like that. We're going to move over to there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go down to the charm. 
Oh, I love how it shows it right around it so I Preview. know what it's going to look exactly like. Exactly what it looks like. So now what we can do is we can add all of that. If you want the charm around each and every shape that you have in your selections menu, we just add that right up to the queue and it'll preview <gasps> it right there. Oh, so it did every letter that I already had piped in. Oh, and now it says happy. I love that. Yep. Very fast, very quick. So you don't have to do each individual. Okay, letter. and then I would just hit cut from here. You could hit cut from here. Okay, now I noticed that we have a sample here that says happy and the letters are perfectly centered in there, but it's a little small for my taste. Okay. I prefer this sample down here with the letters nice and large, but the same size charm. How do we do that? Okay, I can show you that. Um, what we're going to do is, let me clear this slate just so I can show you a sure. good illustration. Sure. So I'm going to toggle back over and I'm going to go up to the queue just to remove these. So we showed this once before, but we'll show it again. Oh, so you're just hitting your delete key. Just hitting my delete key. Great. So I removed everything out of the queue. Mm -hmm. And to really show you easily, just Let's pick the letter H, just so we could see the yeah. differences between the two. So I'm going to remove everything out of our selection menu. That is really easy to get rid of those letters. Yes. Okay. So now I have just the H. Mm -hmm. So again, we now need to put that inside the charm. I toggle over and go down to the charm. And I'm going to place that up in the queue. Okay, and that's the small H. You can see the difference. Mm -hmm. Now let me show you uh, how easy it is to get the larger H, and we just press this actual button there. <gasps> oh, it just moved when you did that. It made it bigger. Yes. I like So that. you see the nice display showing you exactly, and that's easy just to turn on and off. So I'm mm -hmm. going to turn the actual off so you can actually see how small oh, it is. Oh, okay. And then how large it is. So what it's doing is it's going to take that shape, no matter what character you pick, and it's mm -hmm. going to make it as large as possible to fit inside the tag or charm. Oh, that is great. And let's add that to the queue. So then you could even see in the queue, you could see the difference. Oh, and so I know exactly what's going to happen before I even cut because it's all right there waiting for me. That, that makes is. us happy. Yes, that is great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Kevin, there's one thing we haven't talked about regarding the fonts, and that's the alternate characters. Can you tell me more about that? Sure, Steph. Um, basically, all of the keys that show up within the fonts um, are shown on the keypad. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice that we, on the letter G here, we have a standard G, which I'll go ahead and type, and you'll see it in the display. Okay. And then in blue, we see an alternate. Mm -hmm. So it's a different type of shape. So let's press the blue. It highlights now. That means all the keys that are in blue are activated. So let's go ahead and press that G. So you can oh, see the difference. Oh, wow. Them. Now, does every font have an alternate G and an alternate letters? No, not every font. Okay. Um, if the artist drew that, it'll show up in your manual. Great. But either way, that's where it's located. So I like these little hidden characters. It's kind of fun to go on a treasure hunt and see what I can find. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's fun. Kevin, one of my favorite things about the Eclipse machine is the ability to score. Tell us more about that. Okay. Well, let me give you the definition of scoring, first of all, just so you understand what we're talking about. Um, basically, what scoring does is we partially cut through the material. Mm -hmm. So we're only going down a partial way, as opposed to most of our cuts are through cuts. So it cut completely out so you can remove it from the material. Right. Right. So what we're going to do is our artist actually drew code in there so that when we partially cut, that's where we fold. Okay. Now, on this score line that you're talking about, is this the dash, nothing, dash, nothing, nope, dash? Nope. That, that's called perforation. Okay, I don't like that. No, that's not very professional. No, it's not. Our crafters definitely, we've heard great results from this. The people love it and it works beautifully. Great. Now, is this available on 1.0? Um, well, right now, 1.0 is limited to just certain cartridges that have just either the perf or cut line only. Okay. So when you buy a cartridge with the scoring capabilities, features, um, what that needs is 2.0 or better. Okay, great. And we can get the 2.0 free on the website. Free. Yay. Absolutely free. Okay. Well, let's see it in action. Okay. Well, I've inserted my cartridge mm -hmm. that is a scoring cartridge. Mm -hmm. And this one has albums, bags, and boxes. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to pick um, bags just okay. because I would like to select a category that has uh, cut lines and scoring lines. Okay. So let's uh, pick a shape. Let's go ahead and pick a, I think I have a bag with handles. That one's perfect. Great. So let's go ahead and select that, and all we're going to do is now hit cut. Okay. That's all we need to do. The controller itself already knows where the scoring lines are and where the cut lines are. Now here is the bag that we just cut out, and I want to show you how beautifully this scores, because the first time I did this, 
I just got goosebumps. It was so exciting. So here we go. 